Um, can, I, can I get your attention now? Hold on now. Thank you. Losing my voice. Did you guys have a good day out there? Yes. yes. Okay. Oh yeah. So did I. So did I. Um, this is the most spe this is the most special part of our event, and uh, we started this because we wanted to think about Dan and the ways in which we remember him. The type of uh, community that he built, the type of spirit he brought to the table, the, the fun that he brought every time he showed up. And we started to give out these awards and, and really it was done in the spirit of trying to celebrate. And I think that's what we're doing today. And I think that's what we're gonna be doing for a long time to come. And uh, of course, our first recipient was Father Sauer. No better recipient than that. Show the spirit of uh, St. Ignatius. The people who receive this award, the criteria really is about what you give to SI and what you give to the community. <laughs> Billy Callanan won the award la the following year, and I'm proud to announce the next speaker who won it last year, none other than John Ring from the alumni department of last year. He is. Thank you. Good job, John. Thank you. Uh, on behalf of Archbishop Reardon High School, I'd like to yeah. thank you. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I've got a check. I've got a check for you. Oh. I've got a check. I never thought you'd give me the microphone again, so thank you. And, uh, yeah, the check's in the mail. A wildcat did growl. Uh, I, I, I do want to, uh, I want to introduce, uh, it's my pleasure to introduce the uh, 2015 Dan Linehan Spirit Award winner, Brother Douglas Draper. <laughs> the Dan Linehan Award, uh, as you know, goes to those who best uh, embody and exemplify the, the spirit uh, and the fellowship that Dan brought to all of our lives. And uh, past recipients, as, as uh, Tom mentioned, are some great men, Father Tony Sauer. Bill Callanan and, and now brother, and um, you know if if SI had a Mount Rushmore, it would be Brother Draper next to Sauer, next to Carlin, followed by J.B. Murphy yeah. and uh, Miss Ito Botini, who passed away just recently, would uh, would be flanking Brother's uh, shoulder. And uh, for us, uh, I, I think when I came in and I saw Kennedy and the Duffy brothers, I thought that there's no better crowd to honor than the brother. <laughs> exactly. Uh, you, you know, Batman needed the Joker, Elliot Ness needed Capone, and Brother Draper needed all of you <laughs> in order to be great. You helped, you helped make this man, and uh, I, I, will, I will say, if not for your underage drinking and your failure to follow the rules of a civilized society, he would have been known as Friendly Doug the Librarian. <laughs> But he has taught us many life lessons. Uh, certainly, as we grew up, we learned an awful lot about uh, discipline from brother. And as we got older, he became a very, very good friend and a great reminder of the old SI. And with that, I present to you the 2015 Linehan Award winner, Brother Douglas Street. <laughs> So here's the, uh, the, the kimono. So uh, every year, this shirt, it's one of Dan's shirts, and it's given to the recipient. We wear it proudly throughout the year. It is, uh, all the names are uh, stitched onto the, the shoulder uh, of, of the shirt here, except for mine. Mine is John Ring. <laughs> R-N-G, they forgot the I. Uh, I wore it proudly. I, uh, throughout, the, throughout the course of last year, I began to fit into it better. It's one of the biggest shirts going in, in the business, but uh, I did wear it proudly, and I'm, I'm uh, happy to present this to Brother. Hey. Hey. Before 
survived again, let me tell you. <laughs> In 1970, when I came to St. Ignatius as the young dean, how many of you remember Brother Dan Peterson, the librarian? Yeah. I wanted to be the librarian, and he was going to be dean of students, so it worked out differently. But anyway, it's an honor and a, to be here with you this evening, and I'm very humbled by this story. You know, um, as I was reflecting on, on Dan Lindsay, this is what I first remember meeting Dan. It was at a freshman uh, football game we were playing Sacred Heart. And if you recall, Draper had strict rules, especially Caesar. I put my posterior on that fence. The block club was in the front row. Second row, third row would be the seniors, juniors. Sorry, ladies, the St. Rose girls always try to sneak in there. They're the sophomores and freshmen. Okay. Well, I was there leaning, and I must be very honest, I remember it very vividly. It was a cold night. And my dear friends, the the Casbons. He would always bring me a cup of coffee. And in that cup of coffee was just a little bit. <laughs> and it reeked, and it reeked. So I'm sitting there kind of in my usual position with a cigarette and the cup. And all of a sudden, this thing is standing next to me. And I turned and said, what are you doing here? And he said, well, I'm Dan Linehan. I'm a freshman. <laughs> and I said, get out of here. <laughs> okay, all right. He used to come see me ten times a day. He'd say, hello, brother, hello, brother, hello, brother. Always under my feet. And I suddenly realized this was a kid who lived a, everything was SI. That was his whole life. I respected him so much as a student, and I admired him so much as a graduate, as an alumnus, as a father as a, a husband, and is it loyalty to St. Nations, especially the Alumni Association. So, you know, this is it's a great day for me, because I respected him so very, very much. And I, I'm very Irish, 100% Irish. And no theologian can dispute this. I truly believe that Dan knows that we've gathered here today. So, Danny, we didn't forget you. God love you. Yeah. Yeah.